Hey everyone, back to you into today's video. We're doing the weekend forecast today, as ever, on a Saturday afternoon. Going to have a detailed look at weather the next seven days across the British Isles. The first part of the forecast period will take up most of the time for this uh, forecast because, as we know, we've got the remains of ex Hurricane Bertha coming in off the Atlantic through the course of tonight and tomorrow. Going to be a significant uh, summer storm, bringing heavy rain across many parts of the country, even far north and east of Scotland. We'll get some torrential rain from this, I think, by the end of Sunday. There will also be significant winds as well, and that's more likely down in the south of the country, uh, where we could get some gale force winds with the trees in full leaf. That could cause problems, maybe blowing some trees down and also some branches. So a disruptive spell of uh, summer weather coming up, quite unusual uh, for this early in August, but these things do happen. Now before I get on with the weekend forecast, just to make sure you advertise in my video ads on my page, it's at gasweathers.com, hit play on the video ads, you'll be supporting gasweathers.com, thanks very much for doing that. So just starting off with the radar picture from the weatheroutlook.com, you can find a link to Weather Outlook on its page. This rain up here to the east of Scotland caught us out last night, uh, it was much more extensive and widespread across eastern parts of the UK than anticipated, although models did have it correct uh, several days ago, but then dropped the idea bizarrely as it came in towards what should be the reliable time frame. But anyway, that's gone now. Uh, just clinging on to the far east of Scotland but it's going off into the North Sea I mean, it's not a bad day, we've got a few showers scattered about here in the north and the west, I don't think they're going to amount to too much, it could be a heavier one mixed in in places but they are quite well scattered but already you can see that down in the far southwest, coming into the south of Ireland and into the southwest approaches we've got these first fingers of rain, these are coming in ahead of the significant area of low pressure that's developing out in the Atlantic but can the remains of ex Hurricane Bertha. So already we are seeing signs of trouble ahead. Here's today's Arctic pressure chart. There's the low pressure that brought all the rain to the east last night. That's going off up towards Norway. And uh, this is the low pressure of the storm system that's going to be developing out in the Atlantic and then moving in through the course of tide and tomorrow. But otherwise, we're generally under a very transient and weak ridge of high pressure. So, apart from a few showers scattered around, particularly in the northwest, many places are going to stay dry today with sunny spells and it does feel a little bit cooler and fresher than it has done recently it's got a fairly fresh, pretty fresh breeze blowing and with temperatures around uh, 22 about 72 Fahrenheit I say it does feel a little bit cooler and fresher down in the south than we'd be used to now let's have a look at the facts chart, see how the UK Met Office is dealing with this area of low pressure. It's hot off the press, the very latest uh, facts chart for tonight. This is actually for 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. The facts charts, by the way, are the human interpretation of the models by the forecasters at the UK Met Office. Very useful for looking at the very intricate details uh, in, situation, in situations like this. So this is the area of low pressure that contains the remains of Hurricane Bertha moving into southwest through the course of uh, tonight is going to bring heavy rain maybe torrential rain across Ireland through the Irish Sea in towards Wales southwestern in southern England probably affected by morning and probably just getting up towards the Midlands uh, by the time it gets light further northern east staying mainly dry uh, quite chilly actually for Scotland and northern England tonight temperatures in single figures but very mild down in the south these are uh, tropical remains so uh, temperatures are probably going to fall no lower but around 15 or 16 degrees 16 61 Fahrenheit down in the south now over the course of Sunday we're going to find that area of low pressure really developing across the country moving through England and Wales so this is the fact chart for midday to our seeing that low pressure centre right over the top of the Midlands the heaviest of the rain will be around these weather fronts so we're going to take that really heavy and torrential rain from Wales southwest and southern England moving up towards the Midlands East Anglia uh, Northern England by the course of Sunday lunchtime. The strongest winds are on the southern and western side of this area of low pressure, so coming through Wales, southwest England, up the channel, across southern England, we're going to find very windy weather through the course of Sunday morning, gusts of wind, perhaps up to 50 or 60 miles an hour, and then that's all going to push a little bit further northwards with this area of low pressure pushing northwards through the course of Sunday afternoon. 
The rain probably doesn't arrive into Scotland until sunny afternoon, Sunday evening. But when it does arrive, boy, is it going to arrive. Here's the area of low pressure in the North Sea on the facts chart at midnight on Monday, just off the coast of East Scotland. That's going to bring some very, very trench rain from northern England and move it up to central and eastern parts of Scotland in particular. But the uh, driest weather will probably be for northern and western Scotland. Rain may never get in there, but for eastern Scotland, wow, it's going to really pour on the cor through the course of Sunday night. Now we see the tight packed ice bars are shifting northwards with this area of low pressure, so the risk of gales will move up from England and Wales on Sunday afternoon and gradually push northwards into northern England and eastern parts of Scotland through the course of Sunday night into Monday morning. Once that rain clears from the south through Sunday afternoon, it should brighten up. There could be a few blustery showers coming through. Temperatures could get up to 20, maybe 21 degrees, the best sunshine in the south, but generally we're going to be in the teens. Of course, with the wind and rain is going to feel pretty cool, pretty autumnal. This is how the GFS is seeing things at 6 o'clock in the evening on Sunday. That low pressure is in the North Sea by then. I say the strongest of the winds, the most tightly packed ice bars, are on the southern and western side of that area of low pressure. As we move through the course of Sunday night into Monday, that low pressure will drift further northwards, so by the time we get through to Monday, things should be calming down. Still got tight packed ice bars across the country, so it'll be a windy day. Uh, the worst of the rain across central, northern, east, and Scotland will be through Monday morning, gradually turning more showery through the course of Monday afternoon. I think it really is a case of sunshine and showers then through most parts of the country uh, on Monday itself. Some of the showers could be heavy with risk of hail and thunder, but dry bright sweat will be in the south and southeast temperatures up to around 20 21 degrees the best sunshine again but of course feeling cooler than that it will be cooler than that in the uh, showers and the, with the wind it's going to feel cooler than that in any case and that's really how we go through the rest of the week a very showery scenario so below pressure by tuesday is across the uh, northwestern parts of scotland bringing in these westerly winds across the country so it's sunshine and showers essentially for Tuesday with a risk of longer spells of rain actually for Scotland but further south it will be more broken the driest brightest sunniest weather will always be in the east and the southeast that's where the highest temperatures will be at 20 or 21 degrees but generally pretty cool really with temperatures for many of us uh, just into the mid to upper teens Celsius the low pressure is moving across the country as we move through into Wednesday if any of the winds should be easing down a little bit but it means the shower become more slow moving so actually we could have some prolonged uh, spells of rain as we move through into Wednesday because we won't have the wind blowing the showers through so prolonged heavy downpours possible in places uh, there will be dry weather not everywhere is going to get these showers but uh, I think they'll be pretty widespread particularly in the north as we go through to the middle of the week temperatures again maxing out around 20 or 21 degrees 21 is 70 Fahrenheit the low pressure shifting to the east as we move through into Thursday pulling the winds into the north and the northwest so we probably see the shower risk uh, reverting more towards the east and the southeast on Thursday things may dry out a little bit out in the west it'll be a bit cooler as well with those winds going northerly temperatures are going to struggle to get in, uh, above 20 celsius even down in the far south and many of us are going to be pegged back just into the mid-teens and autumnal feel getting through to Friday we end the week with below pressure in the north sea uh, high pressure is trying to ridge in from the south West. I think the shower risk is really for the east of the country by Friday and they'll be easing down in intensity as well I think as things start to dry out really from the west. Temperatures will be probably popping up to around 21 again by Friday lifting up in the sunshine at 70, at 70 Fahrenheit although it could be cold uh, by night not talking about frost I don't think but certainly some chilly nights coming up at the end of the week and into the weekend the weekend probably sees this ridge of high pressure extending in off the Atlantic for the south so it could be a nice weekend down in the south with mainly dry sunny conditions uh, showers still keep going though for Scotland, temperatures eventually by Sunday may pop up to around 23 that's 73 in Fahrenheit but we will still have those cool fresh nights coming up over the weekend. If I have a look at the charts from the weather outlook, a nice day today it's a calm before the storm but the rain will be gathering down to the southwest. as we move through into Sunday we're going to find that heavy rain moving northwards and eastwards across many parts of the country uh, through the course of Sunday but with some torrential rain mixed in probably particularly in the west could be local flooding risk of gales uh, spreading up from the south 
as well. Things will dry out a little bit, I think, in the south as we get through to Sunday afternoon, but the rain will be really setting in across Scotland by Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. The worst of the winds, I say, transferring from the south more towards the northeast as we get through towards Sunday night. Very significant disruptive weather coming up. I don't issue severe weather warnings as, uh, to GavsOvis.com because I'm not qualified to do that, but if you are at all concerned about the weather, if you need uh, advice in terms of traveling do check out web warnings from the uk met office that's the place to go for weather warnings they're the experts so if you need any advice for traveling check out the uk met there will be some disruptive weather through the course of sunday uh monday it's the case of sunshine and showers and that's really how we're going to tuesday and wednesday as well showers or longer spells of rain across many parts we're going to even into thursday we keep that sunshine and showers mix going and then by friday things should be drying out in the west with the shower is transferring more towards the east temperatures will be rather cool really throughout although it won't feel too bad in the sunshine of course sun is still quite strong in the middle of august but overall i think temperatures a little bit disappointing really especially in the north and um, probably some notably cool nights by the end of the week so in summary a very significant and disruptive spell of weather coming up across the country for tonight and into sunday and then after that it's a very showery and rather cool uh, spell for the rest of the coming week that's all for now thanks for watching